Hydraulic fracturing is a technique used by companies in order to extract natural gas and oil trapped between shale thousands of feet underground. Here's how it works. A well is constructed six to 8,000 feet deep, then continues horizontally. Tubes with perforating guns, containing explosive charges, create perforations in the rock. High-pressured pumps shoot a mixture of water, sand, and chemicals down the well. Pressure builds until the rock fractures. Water flows inside, creating more cracks and weak spots. The sand allows these cracks to remain open, like propping open a window, so that oil and gas can freely flow to the surface. This fracturing process is typically repeated seven to 10 times per well. The water that can be retrieved is drawn back up into a storage tank and 95% of it is recycled. Production can now start. A primary concern about this fracturing process is the chemicals being sent down into the well. Chemicals make up about 0.5% of the fluid being sent into the well, less than 2% of the total fluid weight. It's important to note how unlikely it would be for even a tiny bit of chemical to travel up through 6,000 feet of rock, which in some parts is as thick as granite countertop, to contaminate the fresh water supply. Also, there have been zero confirmed cases of groundwater contamination due to hydraulic fracturing since it began in the 1940s. And while companies are not required by law to reveal every single chemical used in the fracking process, tested shale wells have revealed chemicals mostly to be ones found in common consumer products, like disinfectants, cosmetics, food, and pharmaceuticals. A second concern is the amount of water being used to fracture the shale. The average Marcellus shale well uses 3.8 million gallons of water during its entire fracturing operation. That may sound like a lot, but it's less than the amount an average golf course uses in two weeks. Less than what New York City uses every seven minutes. Even less than what a large coal power plant uses every 11 hours. Just like most of the country's water use goes towards agriculture and creating food, a smaller percentage of water use may be a worthy trade for decades of cheaper energy to heat your home, power your computer, or run your car. In fact, the ultimate recovery for three productive Marcellus shale wells in Pennsylvania would be enough natural gas to fuel all of Washington, D.C.'s residential use for a year. More than 1,700 wells were drilled in 2011 alone, even if these were only half productive, that would still be over 250 years of natural gas for a city the size of DC. To make sure you're on the front lines of the next big natural resource opportunity, we urge you to visit us at dailyresourcehunter.com and sign up for our free daily e-letter. In it, you'll find our latest field reports, whether it's the hunt for gold in South Africa or drilling for oil on the high seas. With Daily Resource Hunter, you'll enjoy a front row seat to today's best resource options. Visit us at Daily Resource Hunter today.